Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we got four games tonight here on the SBL Network. Welcome to the afternoon of Slapshot. I'm Darth. I'm going to be your host here tonight. Starting at 8 o'clock, we have the Ocean City Tsunamis taking on the Delmarva Dandy Popes. That is a cross-conference game here in the Intermediate Division. The way the Intermediate Division works, we have two conferences. You play your own conference two times. You play outside your conference one time. And this is going to be the only time these two teams meet up unless it's in the postseason. But uh, Ocean City Tsunamis and the Delmarva Dandy Popes playing at 8 o'clock here. Then after that, at 8.30, we have the Winnipeg Rat taking on the Delmarva Dandy Popes. Um, two closely rivaled teams as they're in the same conference. They look to take each other out of their spots. Right now, Winnipeg Rath in a relegation spot. In the Delmarva Dandy Popes in a promotional spot. We'll see if that stays true after the end of the evening. But uh, after that, we move into our pro division to see our double match here tonight as the West Virginia Rangtangs take on the Brooklyn Bandits. They look to take down the second seed. West Virginia have their work cut out for them here at 9 o'clock. Then at 9.30, the Yosemite Grizzlies, Boston Big Beans, Boston to an early start on the season have themselves a comfy spot in the standings but we'll dive into more uh we'll dive into that more whenever it comes time two hours of slap shot and i'm here for every step of the way welcome to the sbo network let's get into the thick of it as we take a look at the standings down in the intermediate division first up we have the delmarva dandy popes up in the second seed of the omelet conference down in the intermediate division uh they have a five, three and two record a few teams have this band we started with seven teams over here and we're down to six as the i think it was oklahoma exotics decided to disband as they had too much personal stuff going on they decided to drop out of the league and so we only have six teams over here and on the flip side of the coin for this first matchup delmarva dandy popes over here ocean city tsunamis over here there were seven to start with. We're down to five as the Ireland Blundots roster just dropped off the face of the earth. Pizzazz, the captain, uh, left the Discord. Don't know what happened. They never announced the disband, but after three forfeits, the fourth one was made, and they were removed from the league um, as Rule 505E? 505D rang true. Um, if you want to look that up, go to the SBL.GG site. On the very top right of your screen from the homepage, you have the player handbook. You can look through all the rules that we have. I think there's also a link below the stream to uh, get you that handbook as well. That is all the rules that we run by here in the Slapshot Premier League. Um, eight seasons and running. We've been building on top of that. But, uh, yeah. Over in this side of the bracket, the Baguette Conference, we had the Syracuse Ice Kings drop out earlier today as uh, most of their players were picked up by the higher-up teams. Uh, D-Swoop going to be playing on the West Virginia Orangutan here tonight. He was an Ice King. Hex, also an Ice King. He is now on the Typhoons. And um, Young Hades, the former captain of the Ice Kings, now plays West. So it left Borat and it left uh, Ooga Booga left on the roster. And then Borat got picked up today by a team also higher than the Intermediate Division. So the Syracuse Ice Kings, outside of Ooga Booga, finding themselves a lot of ice time up in the Challenger and Pro Division. And I wish them the best. And I hope that uh, the pressure doesn't get to them. And, uh, you know, from pressure, you know, coal can be made diamond. And maybe that'll be true with those players. But who's to say with time itself? But tonight... Our tensions on the two second seeds from these divisions and uh, from these conferences. And we'll just have to uh, play by ear and see how it goes. If you're not familiar with either of these rosters, um, here they are on the screens right in front of you. Clifford, Khan, Cosmo, Spectacular, and Above Average Joe over there for the Ocean City Ty or Tsunamis, uh, the B team of the Ocean City Typhoons. Of course, Clifford, Khan, and Cosmo, I think, are the starting three here tonight. But uh, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure Above Average Joe is starting out on the ice to uh, some form or capacity as we uh, look forward to this matchup here. But uh, for the Popes, we got Unglued Snail, Addict, Wayne Glensky, T-Rax, and Kindu. Um, all five of those players, formidable in their own rights. Last season, Unglued Snail played up for the Delmarva Dandy Skaters, which are the eighth team of the Delmarva Dandy Popes. Dandy Popes being the B team, Dandy Skaters being the A team. And uh, we'll just have to keep our eyes on the ice to see which one of these players are going to be out there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Snail, Glensky, and Rax, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, last season, this this team was captained by Orange and secondary to by Addict. But uh, Orange down with the Hot Springs Hot Tamales. He's going to be playing here tonight at 10.30. I do not think that game's getting casted as um, I'm going to be out there on the ice as well. But I think above average Joe, he played one game so far this season. He has one goal, two points to his name. And uh, he's going to be looking to make that one game's played into a two tonight as he takes to the ice for the Ocean City Tsunamis. And, of course, the starting lineup for the Delmarva Navy Pops, I can confirm, is Snail, Glensky, and T-Rax. All three of those players are going to be out there on the ice. Not sure if they have a substitution in the building, but if it is, it's going to be Addict. We'll just have to wait and see. 
don't know. We still got about three minutes away before we get this drop of the puck down on the ice. But it uh, looks like Clifford Cosmo and above average Joe, the starting three for the Ocean City Tsunamis. Tsunamis will be the home team down there on the ice in the red jerseys. The Danny Popes will be the blue team on the left side of your screen, attacking to the right. And uh, yeah. That's all I got for the pregame. Looking at our uh, schedule here one last time. It's November the 3rd, and it's almost 8 o'clock, starting us off on the right foot, perhaps. But uh, we got two IMs, two pro games. I didn't see the schedule. There was only one game scheduled whenever I checked this, the uh, the site at noon. So uh, all four of these matches are a surprise to me. I thought I was just doing one, but I got four here tonight. And uh, I'm revving. I'm, I'm revving and ready to go. The Delmarva Dandy Popes, originally named back in uh, season number one of Slapshot Rebound, the Montreal Popes, and uh, they've just kind of grown at home here in the Slapshot Premier League. This is their fourth season as a unit, and uh, it's gone through a few changes. You know, Unglued Snail leaving, coming back, you know, Robertine not on the roster anymore from back then. And uh, it's been a wild ride for the Popes, but uh, this is their this could be their final form. Who's to say? But uh, tsunamis, three of them, three of them in the lobby. They're ready up. They're ready to rock. Um, and uh, once Snail is, we'll uh, we'll get this one rocking and rolling. But all six parties are ready to rock, ready to roll. We're taking it down to the ice for 15 minutes of slap shot between the tsunamis and the Popes. Popes on the left side of the screen, and the tsunamis on the right. The puck is dropped. The game is on. And we're rocking. Snail back for the Popes. Looks to take this one off the back end. Top side of ice goes off of Glensky. Glensky here to control this one. Wants to play the three this game. So he takes this one down to the near side of the ice. Off the back end. Stopped up by Clifford. Rack's able to keep this one going northways. Cosmo picks it up for the Tsunamis. Down the near side. Hits that blue line. Red line. Sniped over to above average Joe, but not able to send it packing. Sent back over to Cosmo. Cosmo possessed. Shooting. Nice stop there by Wayne Glensky. Wayne. <coughs> down the near side. Stopped up by Cosmo. Cosmo there controlling this one off the back end. Looks towards the top side of the ice. As he drifts with this one, leans with this one down towards the near. Looking for an open passing lane. Looks for Clifford not able to hit him as that one trickles out to the far side corner. T-Rex directs this one over to Snail down the near side. Wynn Glensky off the back end keeps this one going north. And we keep on keeping on. Here's Clifford down the near side. Goes over to above average Joe down the near side. Board slaps this one out at the defensive end. Wynn Glensky back in his own half. Just tries to hit that one past Cosmo. Not successful in doing so. Cosmo near side up to Joe. Joe goes off of Wayne Glensky. Wayne Glensky here controlling this one out of the zone. As he shoots this one down in front of the netting. T-Rex looking for this back end wrap. Shooting hits Clifford. And that one stays out, out of out of the way of harm. Out into the far side corner. Cosmo off the back end. Stopped up by Snail. Back end. Banks it off the boards. Finds his way to T-Rex. Off the tip of the stick. Goes off Clifford. Off Wayne. Goes off Cosmo down the near side. Loosened up. As Clifford takes this one off the hip. T-Rex not making life easy along the near side boards. As he takes this one off the forehand. Cosmo out in front of the netting. Not able to find anybody home. Shot saved by Snail. Here's above average Joe. Keeping this one in the offensive zone for the Ocean City Tsunamis. Out in front. Nice stop there by Glensky. Gets this one down the full 200 with 327 remaining here in this first period of action. It still remains tied. T-Rex stopped up by Clifford. Finds his way off Glensky. Clifford hits it off the hip to the back end. Takes possession back for the boys in red. Above average, average Joe takes it off the forehand. Not able to snipe that one back into the pocket of Clifford. As T-Rex stumps this one down. Cosmo will collect his thoughts. Cosmo forehand. Down to the near side. Stopped up by Wayne. Wayne shooting. Nice block there by Cosmo. Wayne looking for the shot. Scores! Picks up the loose pieces out in the crease. And Cosmo not able to get that puck on his swivel. And uh, Wayne Glensky knows exactly what to do with that out in the blue paint. And he does what he does best, and that's score goals. Wayne Glensky back in his own defensive corner. Banks it off the glass. Hits T-Rex right in the pocket. Not able to get that one through Cosmo as he tries to deke him out. T-Rex finds a little bit of leeway. Goes off above average Joe over to Cosmo. Off the back end. Stolen away by Wayne. Shooting. Yay! Shoots and scores. Making it 2 nothing here in the first. Beautiful forehand shot by Wayne Glensky, and he sends that one from the red line to the twine. And the Popes are up 2-0. Cosmo driving on. Stopped up by T-Rex. T-Rex here with a two-on-one situation. Clifford there clogs that one up, goes off the tip of the stick of Cosmo. Backboard. 
and back into his own hands. Cosmo backhand off the hip of Joe down to Clifford. Clifford off the forehand, stopped up by Wayne. Wayne here out the other way for the Del Marva. Dandy Pope's off the back and look for Snails. Hits Clifford instead. Clifford keeps that one rolling. Cosmo there picking this one up towards the top side. Glass stopped up by T Rex. Pass out in front. Wayne Glensky dangle. Shoots, scores, and out goes the hat. Making it 3 0 for the Del Marva. Dandy Pope's. He's dancing. He's got his shoes on and he's dancing the blues tonight. And that's his third of the evening. Two minutes. 19 seconds remaining here in this first period of action. We've just got started. Cosmo off a of snail. Snail back for the Pope's looking to ring this one down towards the near side. Shoots the gap. Clifford picks it up. Bruises one back down to Snail. Snail up against Joe. Joe shooting. Nice stop there by Snail. T-Rex here off the back end looking to get this one through Clifford. Near side board battle continues. Clifford able to knock this one loose towards the top side of the ice. Cosmo picking this one up off the forehand. Looking to scoop this one down to Joe. Joe here to collect his thoughts down in the corner. Keeps this one rolling on that cycle. Cosmo out into the point. Finding its way from the red line. Clifford there with a shot. Deflected wide by Snail. When Glensy battling for puck. And he finds it in his hands. Cosmo steals that one away. Not able to get that one through the sawed object. Back in net, that is Wayne Glensky. Wayne, topside boards, not able to hit Snail on the stride. Clifford knocks it loose down to the near side. Cosmo here looking to fight for position. Back Clifford over to Cosmo. Not quite able to send that one on the curve. Wayne Glensky back in his own defensive end. Pops it off the boards over to T-Rex. T-Rex here at the near side point. Looking to bring this one out and around town. Off the forehand, shooting this one into the corner. As Snail will collect it back to Wayne. Shooting, scores! Top left shelf just like the one prior. And it's 4 nothing for Del Marva. A good shot and a good goal with 119 remaining in the first. We have our difference up to four. Wayne Glensky down the near side. Looks to stride this one out. Shoots, hits the post, and he shoots and scars yet again. 109 on the clock, and Wayne Glensky, all five goals to his name, and he's going home with, with a burrito, perhaps. I don't, Snow's got to pay him something for this work. Wenglinski dangling his way down, looking to run that gauntlet yet again. T-Rex off the back end. Shooting nice save there by Cosmo. Cosmo lost over from Snell. Clifford taking a swing at that one, overskates that one. What a pass there by Wenglinski. Snell not quite able to capitalize on that one. That one's dumped out by Cosmo. Looking to give his team some time to breathe. 48 seconds remaining in the first pass. Goes near side. Snell there. Backhands this one further into the offensive zone. T-Rex off the back end. Cycles this one out to the point. Shooting. Nice save there by Cosmo. Back in the crease. Joe pressuring Snail. Snail with possession off the back end. Not able to get the stick on the ice to get that forehand wraparound attempt. Shot. Nice save there by Cosmo. Holds it off the juggle. And he takes it out the far side of the crease. Clifford. Joe. Turned over by Wayne Glensky. Clifford taking this one along the top side boards. Wayne Glensky gets the body position on that one. 18 seconds remaining here in the first. Snail down towards the near side. Stolen away. Shooting off the near side. That one goes off the cage. Cosmo steals this one. Backhand. Forehand at the blue line, down towards the near side. T-Rex there, knock, knocking that one loose. Cosmo drives in, gets past one, two, shot off the near side post, and that one remains unrewarded. But that's going to do it for the first period of action. It is 5 nothing, and Delmarva is in the lead. Good stuff from both sides of the ice so far. The passing game's pretty even. Takeaway's pretty even. Everything's pretty even outside of the shot department and the goals column. It looks like all six parties ready to rock, ready to roll. We're taking this one back down to the ice for the second period of action. As we get set between Delmarva and Ocean City. Ocean City on the right side, Delmarva on the left. The puck is dropped, the game is on. And the second chapter of five minutes is underway. Clifford, Wayne, get into a board battle. Joe comes out on top, off the back end, not able to beat out Snail. Snail towards the top side of the ice, shooting this one towards the netting, but not quite able to hit his mark. Cosmo, off of Wayne, into the corner. Co Wayne, looking to shovel this one down in front. Nice shot attempt, but Cosmo there with all the answers. Cosmo with another save, dumps this one out. Joe with a shot, scores! Beautiful opportunity. Cosmo standing on his head back in the pipes, finds a dime to Joe, and Joe from the faceoff dot finds his second goal of the season. It's one to five, and Ocean City's not done yet. T Rax towards the center line, shooting, nice save there. Goes off of T Rax, actually, and towards the top side of the ice. T Rax along the top side boards, battle against Clifford. Clifford in the defensive zone, forcing T Rax back over to Wayne down the near side. Goes off the face of Cosmo. Cosmo off the back end, shooting this one off the near side. Now one goes off the end boards. Joe, neutral zone, over to Cosmo. Cosmo. Forehand, back in, not able to deke out Rax. Here's T-Rax off the back end, finding its way to Snail. Snail here off the back end, trying to get this one through traffic. Dumps this one back into his own defensive end. 
and this one will be popped free to the top side. Wynn Glensky throws this one down the ice, goes off of Cosmo. Cosmo off the back end, down towards the near side, finds a passing lane, perhaps off the near side, finds Clifford. Clifford Dangle shoots off the near side. That one trickles to the far. Joe applying that pressure. Cosmo as well in the neutral zone. Gets that one away from Snell. Whips this one down towards the near side. Clifford looking to return that favor. Snell has all of that covered as Clifford's forcing that one out into the neutral zone. Good shot off the far side. Wynn Glensky not able to find that from the neutral zone from downtown. Cosmo looking for Joe. Wynn Glensky. Clifford battling against one another out in the neutral zone. Clifford takes this one off the back end. Cosmo from the hip to the back end. Forehand down the near side. Gets this one off Wayne. Shooting it off the near side. And that one trickles wide. T-Rex off the forehand, stopped up by Snell at the red line, down towards the near side, trying to get a step on Cosmo, but Cosmo stays with him stride for stride. Clifford, Cosmo down the near side, looking to pop this one, now cross the grain, but not able to hit Joe in stride as that one goes inside one crease and out the other. Cosmo, forehand off of Wayne Glensky, Wayne Glensky out in front of his own cage, looking to keep possession in the pocket of the guys in blue. T-Rex out, uh, out of center ice, not quite able to snipe that one on target. Here's Snell out and around town in the offensive zone, looking to generate this one down the near side. Wayne pops it, shoots, scores! And that's his second hat trick tonight. Six shots, six goals. Wayne Glensky doing it all out on the offensive side of the ice. It's the second period. 255 remains, and the gap has grown back to five. Clifford dangles. Forehand shot. Nice save there by Wayne. Wayne, pass over to T-Rex. Good save there by Cosmo. Directs out one out to the far side board. T-Rex directs out one back over to Glensky. Over to Snell. Pass over to T-Rex. Shooting it off the far side, and that one would have been crispy. Clifford just out of the reach of Cosmo with that pass. Cosmo there trying to retrieve that one back out of the corner. Pass over to Clifford. Clifford here down towards the near side. Able to scoop that one towards the netting, but not on. Snail. Down the near side. Slapped away by Joe. Joe out in front looking for Cosmo. Just a step behind. As that one could have been magnificent. T-Rex. Snail. Top side point. Looking to bring this one out and around. Nice shot off the near side. Wayne Glensky got a piece of that. And he almost deflected it on. T-Rex down low. Finds Wayne. Wayne trying to jam this one in. Not quite able to spin that one around in time. Cosmo down towards the near side of the ice. He takes this one off the forehand, banks, banks it off the glass, off of, uh, Clifford into the hands of Wayne Glensky. Wayne down low, Snail off the forehand, shooting! Nice save there by Cosmo. Clifford back in towards the top side of the ice. T-Rex controlling this one with 150 uh, on the clock here in the second period of action. The five goal difference out on the board. Snail looking to bring this one back to the defensive end for the Delmarva Dandy Popes. Joe trying to keep up that pressure applied. Shot off the near side of the cage and wide. Someone's passed back out to the point. Here's Wayne Glensky. Joe knocks it loose, backhand, shooting it off the near side, just wide of the netting. Wayne Glensky off the forehand, throws this one out to the center ice, shooting! Nice save there by Wayne, lifts the stick and gets the save. Shooting, scoring! What? Ultimate Joe out on offense. Absolute fiend to the Delmarva Dandy Pope, takes it off the backhand pocket, picks his pocket right in the crease, and just like a thief in the night, there was no cops around, and it is now 6-2. Snail looking to bring this one back to town. Cosmo there not making that easy. Four goals are gap here in the second, and it's 114 remaining on the game clock. Cosmo off a of rack. Snail down towards the near side. From the point, takes this one off the scoop, throws this one towards the top side. Wynn Glensky here down in the corner, scoops that one out to keep that cycle rolling. Wynn Glensky with an opportunity on a stick. One second remaining. Big save there. Snail will take this one topside, finds Glensky off the backhand, shooting, scoring off the near side post, and that's his seventh of the night. When Glensky, every shot he's made has gone in the back of the netting, and uh, there's been a lot of them. T-Rex off the backhand towards the top side of the ice, Cosmo there pulling that one back away, shooting it off the far side. And just wide by a hair. Wayne Glensky off of Joe. Joe along the top side board. Shooting it off the near side. But not quite able to make it count. Cosmo off the back end. Out in front looking for Joe on this one. Joe trailing after this one. Wayne Glensky gets past one. Shooting not able to score. Clifford there denies access. Out in front of the netting. Snail goes off of the stick check from Clifford over to the hands of Joe. Joe off the back end. Scoops this one down the near side boards. Finding its way towards the hand of Wayne Glensky down the near side. Finding its way over to Snail. Snail off the forehand. Pass towards the top side of the ice. Here's T-Rex. Looking to bring this one down to Disco Town. Clifford off the hip to the backhand. Brings this one off the stick of Snail over to T-Rex. Good shot attempt, but it's Cosmo there to keep that one wide. Eight seconds remain. Wynn Glensky shooting it off the far side post. It rings wide. T-Rex. Snail backhand. Forehand. And that is all she wrote for the second period of action. Delmarva Dandy Popes up 7-2 against the Ocean City Tsunamis. And we'll move into this third and final period of action. Before you know it. 16 shots to 7. 
Ocean City stood tall back between the defensive zone. Cosmo, the main resort or the main resource of gold sending. And uh, he's done a magnificent job keeping, I think he has seven of the nine saves to his name. But uh, you can't really quote me on that because I don't have the stats in front of me. Clifford has four saves. Cosmo with five. Both goals for the Tsunamis coming from Joe. This is the second intermission. <laughs> this is the nightly schedule we have so far. We got four games. This is the first of four. Next up, we have the Winnipeg Wrath and the Delmarva Dandy Popes. But right now, we're going back down to the ice for this third and final period of action between the Delmarva Dandy Popes and the Ocean City Tsunamis. Tsunamis on the right side and the Delmarva Dandy Popes on the left. T-Rex right from the get-go looking for the net but not able to get that one through the traffic. As Clifford forces this one into the corner, takes this one off the forehand, looking for that shot attempt. Nice stop there by Wayne Glensky. He'll take this one down towards the near side. Joe applying that pressure off the back end out to the neutral zone. Cosmo, sick position. Goes off T-Rex into the far side. As uh, Cosmo forces one out. Shooting, scoring! Wayne Glensky for his eighth time tonight. Has found a goal in the back of the Tsunami's net. Four forty-one remaining here in this third period of action. Wayne Glensky throws this one down. Clifford pulls this one off the backhand. Looking towards the top side, looking for a little bit of revenge. Cosmo scoops this one down low. Joe here off the back end, looking to get this one out in front. T-Rex there completes that one down into his own corner. As he looks to dig this one down the near side, goes off a uh, snail back towards his own blue line. Throws it off the glass, finds Glensky. T-Rex not able to snipe that one in. Excuse me. It's a nice shot by there by Glensky, but not able to get that one off on target. Glensky off the near side yet again. Joe looking to battle for that one. Goes off T-Rex over to Snail. Snail here off the forehand, looking to take this one down low off the forehand. Scores! <laughs> The first, the first Pope's goal. That is not Wayne Glensky. Snail throws it on towards the net with a negative angle goal. Bounces off a few Plinko machiners. And we find ourselves a 9-2 score on the board. Third period of action, not done yet. Still got another four minutes of this to go. Cosmo looking to take this one out for a joyride. T-Rex, Snail goes off of Joe. Top side over to T-Rex. T-Rex off the stick of Joe. Joe keeping that pressure applied on the offensive side for the Tsunamis. Glensky, off Cosmo, Cosmo, forehand, looking for this opportunity down the near side, Snail able to pop this one loose back over to Clifford, Clifford off the near side, Glass able to get this one down low to Cosmo, Cosmo, forehand, looking for that opportunity to pass it out in front, Snail there, picks that one off from the point, throws it towards the netting, but not on, as that one goes into the corner, when Glensky banks this one off the boards over towards Cosmo, T-Rex trying to get a hold of this one, Cosmo down the near side from the corner, Joe looking to pick this one up, Snail oh, as well trying to get possession of the puck, Joe off the back end, off of T-Rex. T-Rex down center ice, taking this one away. Here's Cosmo. Cosmo shooting it. And Snail there with the save. T-Rex shooting this one. Not quite able to get enough muster to get it on target. As that one sent to the top side, Clifford there pulls that one back away over to Cosmo. Cosmo off the back end. Clifford takes this one away off the hip. Not quite able to take it in stride as he'll loosen this one back over to Cosmo. Cosmo back end, forehand. T-Rex steals it away, holds W, and he scores. 10-2 with an 8-point gap. Here in the SPL, we play with a 10-goal mercy roll. So if it does get to a 10-goal difference, we'll cut it short and we'll move on throughout the night. Not saying it will, but just in case it does, there's the rule for you. Clifford going off Snail. Snail backhand. Forehand shooting. Scoring! And it's getting closer. Two forty-two remaining in this third period of action. When Glensky back behind his own cage, down towards the near side. Neither of these teams really affecting each other in the standings as they're across the intermediate conferences. And uh, so any point here is a big point gain. Cosmo looking to bring this one off the forehand out to the point. Clifford trying to get a hand on this one. Joe there off the hip of Win Glensky. Snail driving for this one down the near side. Joe. Off the forehand, throws this one down even farther. Cosmo rings this one back out to the point. Off of Clifford, off of Glensky. Down low to Cosmo. T-Rex there, knocking that one loose towards the top side. Goes off Joe over to Cosmo. Cosmo down low, brings this one off the forehand. T-Rex, not quite able to get that one in his pocket neither. Cosmo out to Joe. T-Rex steals it away. Two on one. 
T-Rex snail shot off a, off a Joe almost in the netting and Clifford back to save the day able to keep that one out the far side and wide snail off the back end looking to drive this one down low a forehand pass over to Rax not quite able to take that one off the dome good save there by Joe goes off a of snail in that secondary try Glensky back out to the point backhand try shooting nice save there by Clifford yeah to the post shoot scores Wayne Glensky <laughs> His ninth goal tonight, and that is going to be all she wrote. 12 to 2, the final score between the Delmarva Dandy Popes and the Ocean City Tsunamis. And uh, what an offensive game that was. Final score, 12 to 2. Goal scores of the night. Above average Joe. Two only two goals for the tsunamis. And then Wynn Glensky having the nine. Snail with two and T-Rex with the following one. But we'll move on throughout the evening. Up next, Winnipeg Wrath, Delmarva Dandy Popes. Gonna take on one another. The Battle of the Admins. Down in the intermediate division, as we take a look into the more in-depth stats, I'm going to close out into the intermission. Thank you for tuning in to the SPL Network. I'm Darth, and uh, we'll be right back with more Slapshot action here tonight on the SPL Network. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 